Let's take a look at ways to optimize your CSS code. A lot of the time, you know, when you're developing looks and designing some layouts, you can just throw the CSS in there to get the code together. But I think it's always a good idea before you deploy it to a production server that you look for ways to optimize your code. This not only reduces download time, but it also sometimes can improve, you know, for the user, the uh, display end where it has to recreate the page. So what I've done here is I've got a simple little file to demonstrate some of the techniques and what we're going to do is find ways to simplify this code but end up with the same look and feel. Now what I've done for the sake of this example is made a very simple page. I have an h1 tag, an h2 tag, an h3 tag, a p tag and then there's a p tag wrapped inside a class and as you can see in the code here that class name is my class and so if you look up in the style sheet what we have right now all of the tags the h1 h2 h3 p and the my class all use the font family of Arial, Helvetica and Sans Serif and we have some different font sizes here 1m 1.5m and 2m and then as you can see of course we have some different colors so what can we do to to improve the code here. You know, there's a lot of repetition. Well, you know, one thing you can start by doing is looking for some common denominators. For example, they use we use the same font. So what I'm actually going to do here is I'm actually going to go in and I'm going to define in the body tag here and I'm just going to do some copy and paste to save some time. I'm just going to copy in here and paste in. So, you know, now we can remove from each of these the font style here, the font family and so let's just remove those okay that's those uh, everything here as you can see a majority has 1m size for the font size except for the h2 and the h1 which is 1.5 so what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna do the same thing again I'm gonna copy the font size here and I'm gonna put it up in the font tag in the body tag I'm gonna put 1m so now where we have 1M, I'm just going to go in there and remove those. And I'm going to leave these ones here for the H2 and the H1 because by putting those in here, what we're just saying is this font size of 2M is actually going to override the one in the body tag. So if we just look at the page here, you can see, you know, everything here looks the same and uh, you know the only things that we need to have in each of these tags are the different colors but you can see here for example the p tag and the my class actually are the same color it's, it's some black text well the class my class is inside a p tag so actually what we can do is and remove this from here so actually we have an empty class now and if we go over here you can see that looks exactly the same but you may, you know, there may be a reason that you still have this class here. There may be some other code in there, for example. Um, so you would still use that. But I just wanted to show you that since the my class is inside the p tag, you can actually just use the color from the p tag there, that black. So that's just a couple of quick examples of how you can go through and look for ways to make your code, you know, not only less code, it's easily readable. You have the inheritance tree there that you can see. And, you know, we'll probably end up with a smaller file and, you know, it may render the page a fraction quicker.